Well, hello, everybody. Welcome. We've got a kind of a cool problem right here. We've got a Fournoy diagram. We've got to find the missing cell point. That's the kind of the centralized location within uh, a certain area that's closer to every other point in that area. So we've got to find the one that's missing over here. Now, before we get into it, if you're a math teacher and you'd like to use this problem in your classroom, stick around to the end of the video. I'll share some free resources for you. And um, in the meantime, let's just get to it, shall we? So here's our diagram right here. We've got this point, 4, 8. We've got this line. It tells us the equation of the line is y equals negative 1 third x plus 6. We have to find the missing point in this other cell down here. So the first key fact is that the line that would connect the two cell points is perpendicular to the boundary line. So our cell point is somewhere down over here. There's a line connecting this existing cell point with the one down there, and it's going to be perpendicular to the boundary line, which is shown right here, the negative one third x plus six. So our point actually won't be over here. It's going to be a little bit further to the right over there. All right, now since they're perpendicular, I know the slope of this line is negative one third. Uh, the slope for the line connecting our two points, the one we know and the one we need, is going to be 3. All right. Now here's the next piece of information. These points are equal distance from the boundary line point. So that means that where they intersect, where this line that connects our two points and the boundary, where they intersect, that's actually the midpoint. This is the midpoint of 4, 8 and the thing we need. Ah, so... That's going to be kind of a key thing right there. We need to find where these, this exact coordinate right here, because that's going to be the midpoint, and that's going to allow us to write some equations and solve it. So we need to find the equation of our green line right here so that we can set it equal to the boundary line so we can find where they cross, right? So uh, we have y equals mx plus b. We know that, that 3 is our slope. We know that it goes through the point 4, 8. So we're going to plug in 8 for y. 4 for x, and we're going to figure out what the y-intercept of this equation is right here. So negative 4. So y equals 3x minus 4. That's the equation of the line that connects the existing cell point and the one we're looking for. So now that we know that, we can set this line equal to this line and solve for x to figure out the x-coordinate of where they cross. So we've got negative 1 third x plus 6 equals 3x minus 4. We're going to set them equal to see where they cross. Do a little bit of arithmetic right here. Add 1 third x to both sides to get rid of this one. 1 third plus 3 is 10 thirds. If you're not sure how that works, it's actually really easy, right? Just put a 1 under the 3, get a common denominator. You got 9 over 3 plus 1 over 3. That's 10 over 3. So anyway, 6 equals 10 thirds x minus 4. Going to just go ahead and finish this, the inverse operations here. Add 4 to both sides. Multiply by the reciprocal. It looks like x is equal to 3. So the x-coordinate where these two cross is 3. So now I just take that 3, plug it into either equation, and I can figure out what the y is. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the one we have. Negative 1 third x plus 6. Plugging in the 3. 1 third of 3 is 1. So negative 1 plus 6 is 5. These two lines cross at 3 comma 5. So that's a key piece of information because 3, 5 is the midpoint. It's the halfway distance of from 4, 8 to the thing we don't know. All right, so let's go ahead and write down our midpoint formula right here. The sum of the x is divided by 2. That's the x coordinate. The sum of the y is divided by 2 is, of course, the y coordinate. Now let's plug in what we know. We know that 4 plus this thing I don't know divided by 2 the midpoint, right, is going to be 3. It crosses at 3. 3 is halfway between. So if I solve this, multiply both sides by 2, subtract 4, I get x equals 2. So I know that the x-coordinate of the point we need is 2. All right, so now, doing the same thing with the y, 8 plus the thing I don't know. So 8 plus the thing I don't know divided by 2 is 5. That's just plugging everything into the formula once again, right? So solving this, multiply both sides by 2, subtract 8. F turns out y is also 2. So my coordinate where these two cross is 2, comma 2. Hey, that's pretty cool. Hey, if you're teaching Voronoi di diagrams, uh, this lesson and the ones similar to it that I've posted on YouTube, therefore the IB class I teach. Anyway, 
if you'd like some resources for that, I'll put a link in the description. I'll give you a link to this uh, PowerPoint that I use for this problem uh, for free. You can use it. There will be a, uh, a Google quiz that you can assign of this one problem, kind of st help students walk through it. I often use those as chal challenge problems. I just post them, let students have at it for a week. They're not for credit or anything. It's just kind of fun. Let's students kind of play with math just for the fun of math. And some do, some don't. But I think it's kind of a good way to introduce, I don't know, some lighthearted, hey, let's just try this, see how it goes, see if we can learn something kind of spirit to the classroom. So anyway, hey, I thank you for joining me for this problem. I hope you enjoyed going through it with me. And until next time, I hope you have a great day.